Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. Thank you for watching. You know, I remember the first time I ever met an environmentalist. I was in first grade and this man came to our classroom with a big, beautiful bald eagle. He carried it around on his arm and told us wide-eyed kids about how they're all dying because of man. He said, kids, I want you to know that this is the last time you will ever see a bald eagle alive. He made us cry. And then the SOB took our lunch money. And that is exactly how environmentalists have been operating for the last 50 years. Manufacture a crisis, get people upset about it, take their money. The environmental movement is the biggest money-making scam ever foisted on the world. I am sick and tired about hearing how delicate and fragile our ecosystems are. This planet is about as delicate as a ball bearing. Rush Limbaugh was right when he said we couldn't destroy this planet if we tried. Now for years, the enviro nuts have said that the biggest threat to life on Earth is the automobile. I think Al Gore gets credit for that. But every time a big volcano explodes, it blasts a thousand times more carbon-based pollution into the atmosphere than all the automobiles in history. Oh yeah, it makes quite a mess. But before long, it's gone. We're still here and Earth is still a nice, beautiful place to live because God designed it that way. I laughed out loud at the Enviro nuts following the recent Gulf oil spill. Several, leaks, several weeks after the leak was capped, they set out to find this massive oil spill monster that was going to destroy Louisiana, and they couldn't find it. It was gone. Thank you, God, for giving us this wonderfully efficient planet to live on. I remembered Ted Danson on TV with tears in his eyes, telling us that we only have 10 years left to save the oceans. That was at least 12 years ago. So screw you, Ted. I didn't write a check then, and I'm not writing any today. <sighs> lie after lie after lie. Why does anybody still listen to these people? I don't. The Environmental Protection Agency is nothing but a great big liberal club to smash businesses that keep our economy strong and sabotage America's oil supply and consequently our national security. Now, I've tried to reason with these people. I remember a lively debate with one enviro nut. He was doing the standard emotional crying act as he whined. Don't you realize that over 2,000 species go extinct every day? So I thought for a moment, I said, name one. He got even more upset and he yelled, but there's species we haven't even discovered yet. That's the kind of logic that these people use. They have no logic because they have no case to present. They rely entirely on emotional manipulation to strip people from their money. You cannot reason with these people any more than you can negotiate with a terrorist. They are both cut from the same cloth. It's time for a courageous Congress to make the Environmental Protection Agency extinct. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and God bless America again.